So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is related to compute engine and sense so first of all click on start lab and if you want to know how to enable this check my progress bar you can check the description box of this video now just open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instructions now we will cover this lab do not worry about it how we'll cover basically first of all here you will get this kind of option click on i understand and then another pop-up you will get that you will say agree and continue here once you are done with this you have to just activate the cloud shell click on it and just click on continue and authorize yourself let me show you how you have to do so just click on continue here a pop-up will come click on continue and just authorize yourself Now once it's done, come to the task number one. Basically, here all the commands you can read it. The first step is that we have to log in and authenticate ourselves. So for that, you have to run the gcloud auth login command. So just copy it carefully and paste over here and type Y and then hit enter. Now click on this URL and make sure you are using the lab credentials. This is student one is the lab credentials. You have to click on it. Just click on continue and then just you have to allow. Now once you have done this, click on copy, come over here and just paste it and hit enter. Now once you are done with this, we have to set the project ID like we did in previous lab. If you haven't watched that video, do check the playlist section. Now we will create a bucket. Now, the bucket name will be globally unique so we are choosing project id you can see here because project id is unique for everyone now after that we'll enable the versioning now once this is also done now we have to create a file so for file name copy it carefully and we are using nano editor just type nano space and enter the file name now paste the content over here use Control x y and then hit enter now the file has been saved now we have to create a variable tf file so copy the file name just type nano space variable dot tf hit enter now if you make any mistake you can use the backspace to remove the content now just paste this use control x y and then hit enter to save it now we have to just run the init command and then we'll run the plan command and then auto approve so just wait for some time now we have to run the plan command and after that we have to run the auto approve command okay so just wait for some time here you can see all the resources are here so you have to just run the auto approve command it will take some time so wait for it it may take two to three minutes you can wait for it now here finally it is done now let's move to the lab instruction and check the score and do like the video and subscribe the channel for more i hope you have completed the lab very easily and thank you guys have a great day